Hello and welcome back to Battletech Career Mode. We're back on the flashpoints now. Here we are. We've got a flashpoint available. One man's trash. It's only a two skull. Unknown employer against some hostile mercs. How wonderfully vague. Uh, Commander Chimpy, you don't know me, but me and my associates have a job for you. A real nice one. For a big payout at the end. If you want to talk about it, come meet me at Glentworth. I'll be waiting. Well, that's where we are. So, let's uh, end that waiting, shall we? Ed Corbett... <laughs> the hell am I looking at? <laughs> Holy shit, you actually came, Commander GMP in the flesh. You know, the invitation I sent you was sort of a Hail Mary. To be frank, I was 90% certain you wouldn't even respond. But here you are, gods be praised. Yeah, here we are. Would you care to explain what we're looking at, Mr. Corby? Oh yeah, haha, <laughs> my damned holo camera's on the fritz. You're getting the parrot, right? I think that's my comm system's default image. The one they use for the display models, just try to ignore it. We've got serious business to discuss. I'll bet, why don't you tell us about it? Okay, so here's the deal. I've got these associates nobody you've ever heard of. Nobody need to worry about, but they shout out big money for old stuff. You know, bits and bobs from the Star League days. Doesn't matter if it's working or not, it's ancient. They want it. Your associates aren't alone in that. A lot of people would give their left arm for a piece of genuine lost tech. Yeah, oh, that was me saying that. <laughs> yeah, we are literally spending a lot of money on lost tech stuff. Yeah, but you're talking about the stuff that has value. Mechs, ships, lasers, that kind of thing. My friends, they want everything, including literal garbage. And that makes opportunities for people... Wait, that makes opportunities for people like you and me. So here's the deal. Way off the tip of Glentworth's northern continent, there's this island called Men Lajowen. Now, I happen to know there's a Star League era facility out there. The Volters have been picking at it for years, but there's still meat on those bones, and I want you to fetch it for me. So you caught us out here for a Lost Tech treasure hunt. Fantastic. If you'd been up front about it, I'd have argued against flying out here at all. Hang on, hear me out. The facility I'm sending you isn't SLDF. That's the beauty of this plan, because there's nothing in there of any military value. Nobody with any muscle is going to show up to stop you. You're, you're going after the equivalent of a Star League era stapler factory, but that doesn't matter to my associates. They'll pay top dollar for whatever you pull out of there. So, what's stopping you from heading down there yourself and looting the place? A healthy sense of self-preservation. See, there are a couple of gangs of scavengers on, on men led Lodjo and who are fighting over our stapler factory. They're nobody, it's just a bunch of amateurs who'd rather lob bombs at each other than learn to share. And before you ask, no, they don't have any battle mechs. Uh, at most, you'll run into a couple of rundown old tanks on each side. Nothing that you need to worry about. Any fool of a battle mech could pull off the kind of job you're describing, so why come to us? Because you're the best, and I know you're the best because I've got a pal at the MRB. Maybe you've met him, Phil Burdock? No? Well, me and Phil have an arrangement. I let him crash at my luxury timeshare... Timeshare in, in Lauf Abbey, and in return, he helps me find the right people for jobs that need doing. A coastal city known for its impressive skyline. Oh, wow, sounds lovely. So your process, so your process involves bribery and a timeshare condominium. Got it. Yes, you do. Now, what do you say? A quick drop onto the island with a light, lance of light mechs, maybe a skirmish with a vehicle too, and the job's done. You scoop up whatever's in that facility and drop it off at my condo. I go fence it to my associates and you get a nice big payout. Easy as pie. Well, I guess we'll have to go for it. Brilliant, friend. Absolutely God's damn brilliant. I'll be in touch when we, you've got the goods. Until then, you do your thing. Don't let me stand in your way. Thank you, Mr. Parrot. Alright, so one man's trash. We have a weight restriction. That is particularly interesting, isn't it? A max tonnage. I just love this. Uh, it's a recovery mission in a polar environment. That's quite interesting. I think we're maybe... They did say lost tech, so maybe going for some salvage would be good. Uh, the pay is so low, though. It's almost only ever worth going full salvage. I think we'll take a teeny bit of money, though. Okay. So, maximum 55 tons anyway. So, yeah, we're going to go Griffin. We're going to go Shadowhawk. We're going to go... Oh, do we go Centurion? Or I think we go maybe Battlenet. Uh, Battlenet? Uh, Blackjack here. Yeah. Uh, we throw Ace in the Hatchetman. I feel like that's a given. Augustus and Battleaxe still have 
high spirit, so it would make sense to send them out. Uh, I guess Augustus in the Blackjack. Battleaxe is going to be jumping around probably in the Griffin, and then... Hmm, actually I don't know. Who who has good piloting? Battle Axe has ten. Anybody else down here have ten? No. I think in that case we're actually gonna do this. Lifeblood in the Griffin. Yeah, that, that makes the most sense to me now. Alright, very good. Ah, uh, the blackjack with oh that's nice. Okay, yeah, great. Alright. Here's this is gonna be our lineup for this first mission. We're coming in two and a half tonnage drop against a two ton lot of enemies, although obviously it being a flashpoint it could be a big old hoax. I mean to be honest this has hoax written all over it doesn't it? Kind of get the feeling that maybe uh, once again maybe we're the ones being set up. I can't believe it actually says stapler factory. I thought he was just saying that's like a joke. Like you know what I mean? Just he's jokingly saying sta stapler factory. Like come on come on. This can't be real. Uh, well, this should be exciting. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying the Hatchetman again. I mean, we saw how it did against mechs far larger than it. I mean, this thing should wreck whatever it comes across, right? According to Corby's Mac, our Star League Stapler Factory should be somewhere just ahead of you. He also said that we shouldn't run up against anything more dangerous than a combat vehicle or two. I'll take that for a grain of salt. Perhaps more than a grain. I don't especially trust Mr. Corby or his mysterious associates. Me neither, but it's refreshing to work with someone who's obviously sketchy for a change. I mean, most of our clients are just as bad, but they're much better at hiding it. In camera transmission, Nigel Binton, an unsavory character. I see, we've got some new battle mechs on the field. Hello, my name's Binton. If you've come for that, for the vault, my hired cutthroats will be murdering you today. Menlo Joan is my island. Binton, if I catch either of you near that vault, you'll only wish you were dead. I've got a bucket of Prosperinan blood imp limp implets, limplets, and a vivid imagination, and I'm feeling eager to use them. Then I guess we'd better not let you catch us. Game face is on, everybody. We've got a fight on our hands. Commander. All right, very good. Let's just sprint everybody Roger. over. Roger. Uh, as far as we can. A little bit off actually jump jetting over here. Okay. Very good. Still nothing. We want to probably get around here. Very good. Well, he wasn't run about a couple of combat vehicles or two for now. Jumping. Hmm. hmm. All right, yeah, you stay there in the trees. Okay, we might as well go first here. They don't, they're not going to have evasion. They're not going to have any sort of defensive capabilities, really. So let's move uh, lifeblood in here. Get rid of that inferno carrier. Very nice. An inferno carrier in a polar environment. Does anybody see a slight problem with that? Yes, oh, Commander. Honestly. These people, these people, they are not the brightest. Confirmed. Right, it doesn't look like we're going to see anything here. Oh, here we go. What's all this all about then, hmm? Okay. Commander. We may just want to sprint. Uh, hmm. Hmm. There we go, yes. Let's jump up here. What are we looking at? Okay, an SRM carrier. Be gone. That was the real threat. Reporting one last vehicle. Thank Go you very on. much. Hatchetman, just get sprinting. Okay, yeah, 35 tons. I don't imagine these being anything much. Maybe this is the mission that like surprises us. It turns out they were completely honest. And there are just a few old vehicles down here. That'd be kind of funny. Okay, so far so good. Yes, 
Commander. The Blackjack can probably take out our next one here. Alright, what are we looking at? A striker. Have no doubt it will be done. Very Lots good. Scrap piece. Okay. For orders. Let's Order. let's go. Position confirmed. On it. Looking alright so far. On my way. Okay. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. We've taken possession of the stapler factory, Commander. Keep our scavenger friends occupied and away from the facility while our people crack the vault. Moving out. The asset is All targets eliminated. Good Sit tight and I can collect you from where you are right now. Uh, okay, Commander, I've been studying the symbols on the crates that our lamps poured from the facility. Against all odds, it looks like Mr. Corby was telling the truth. We've just stolen several tons of commercial grade Lost Tech desk accessories. Well, that's one for the record books. We just pulled up the biggest stapler heist in human history. And to think, Binton and Mudge have been at each other's throats over this vault for months. People have died for this? How do we break it to them they were fighting over garbage? It isn't our job to break anything to them. All we need to do is get that crap to Lauf Abbey and get paid. Speaking of which, I'm setting the course, Commander. We'll get to we'll get Corbu on the horn as soon as we're reaching cruising altitude. Well, that's... yeah. <laughs> Once I saw that second lot of vehicles, I kind of thought, this is, this is, this, yeah, he's telling the truth. <laughs> A trustworthy client. Great, let's see what you got. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just a bit like, what's, what's happened? Uh, there was no good loot, like, there's no mechs. <laughs> it's just SRM6s, SRM10s, I mean, we'll be selling all of this, won't we? So, whatever. I won't be selling it. We have we have it to sell should we need to, which we probably will do. Uh, where's this handsome payout we were promised? Yeah, I should have known not to go of salvage if it's just going to be vehicles. Uh, hey, all right, one man's trash, part two. Hey, hey, there you are. Just the mix I was hoping to see. We've got your stapler set. I hope you've got a lot of empty space in that timeshare because you're going to need it. Hey, that, sound, that sounds great. Really, it does, but uh, in the meantime, I've got a little problem on my hands. You know the guys who were, f who, you, who, were f who were fighting you over the vault, Binton and Modge? Well, uh, they sent some goons to my place in Laugh Abbey, and uh, long story short, uh, right, they've trapped you in the condo, haven't they? Yeah, they've sort of joined forces, and they're threatening to kill me if I don't give them the fabulous treasure that you pulled out of the vault. There was no treasure. We've got a ship's full of commercial-grade office crap. I know, but they don't, they don't know that. See, they uh, might have been led to believe that some incredible treasure was inside the vault, you know, by a former client. I need you to be straight with me, Ed. Were you that client? In a manner of speaking, I mean, yes, yeah, it was me. Why would you have told them that? Because every time I tried telling people what I was really after, they bailed on me. Up until I met you, I mean, you were different. But every mech I talked to before you took the job and laughed me off and called me a chump. So I whipped up a story about the vault being full of treasure and all of a sudden I start getting bites. So what happened? Well, first I hired Marge, seemed like a solid merc, but when he got to the side he went rogue. I guess he wanted to take the treasure for himself. So then I called Benton, who agreed to neutralize Marge for a share of the, t of the treasure. But he also went rogue. So then, well, you already know what happened next. So... What you're saying is that you hired us to rob a vault from under your own contractor, whom you hired to take down your other contractor, both of whom are holding you ransom for a treasure that doesn't exist. It sounds so bad when you put it that way. Look, I'm the victim here. Now, the way I see it, there are a couple of ways out of this. Call them option A, option B. Here we go, typical flashpoint. Option A is the direct approach. You come in, the guns blaze in, protect my timeshare and mow down the bad guys. It's a simple plan. Uh, but it's got a few downsides. The streets of, of Lauf Abbey won't support much more than 30 or 40 tons. If you try and land of anything heavier, it'll sink right through. And my timeshare, well, lovely, it wasn't built to withstand a missile attack, so that could be a problem too. Now, option B is the tricky route. I tell Binton and Marge that we surrender. You drop the treasure somewhere in a field, and when they show up in their big-ass assault mechs to fight over it, you swoop in and kick them in the teeth. I thought you said they didn't have any mechs. <laughs> so either we go light or we go big. 
and just keep the staplers and wash our hands. <laughs> yes, I mean, do we need some more staplers, you know, for your, your finance and auditing documents? Eh, uh, maybe. I don't know. You seem to be dealing okay with audit, so we'll let Oliveira off. Uh, right, I'm actually thinking of the law approach. I'd love to come in live, but he said 30, 40 tons. Didn't he? Now, we only have like two mechs that are... We don't have any like light mechs, really. So we can't actually do option A. Um, I don't think we can at all. I have a feeling it's got a maximum tonnage of like 45 tons, which means we could only use two mechs. So that would be way too dangerous. Yeah, I like the law, personally. You're an absolute lifesaver, Commander. I'll tell the bad guys where to meet you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go. This condo's got a sweet little panic room and it's got my name written all over it. Hiding is good. Try to keep yourself alive till the smoke clears. Roger that, Space Dog. You won't hear a peep out of me until the shooting stops. By that time, with a little luck, Marge and Binton will be out of my life forever. Better get to it, Commander. I'll be waiting for you. All right. All right. So what sort of, uh, what are we expecting? It says two tons. I don't believe that. Sorry, two skulls. I'm not buying that. He said assault mechs as well. We'll go half and half here. Uh, we're going to come in with three. I, I would say. Uh, we're in a tundra. Could be a good opportunity to utilize some of our hotter running mechs. Like the Warhammer. Might be a nice little upgrade over... I don't know. Let's take a look at the Shadowhawk here. We're still good. We might want to maybe switch out of the Hatchetman then as well. Maybe go for catapults. There we go, yeah. Blackjack for support. Support these two up front. That seems quite strong to me. Uh, we'll give Headhunter a go in... Do you know what? For a change, why don't we give you the... I'm tempted actually to give you the Warhammer because then you can go early as well. I was going to say the Blackjack, but if you can get in in an early initiative phase, that could be quite clutch in the right moment. Still want to utilize Battleaxe and Augustus here. Maybe Abattoir then can have a go. Maybe Sheriff, actually. Let's give Sheriff a go. And the Blackjack. Yeah. He's got a, he's a pretty good shot as well. Multi-target. Breaching shot won't really get used, but that's fine. Okay, this looks pretty strong. We're coming in a full... Yeah, we'll be alright. Although... Uh... Maybe we just go for classic. Actually, do you know what? Where is that Warhammer? Yeah, let's do this. We've got support back here. Let's go for this lineup. I like it. I should have swapped you two around, actually. Ah, that's fine. Polar environment. It's good. It's all good. Oh, here we go. That was a sudden start. Eyes up, Mod. Corby's pet mercenaries are here. Took them long enough, but now they're going to give us what's ours, aren't they? Their buddy Ed already told us as much, so they'll relinquish our treasure and nice and easy and then fly off into the sunset together. It's already done, Marge. If you run a sensor sweep, you'll find a handful of very large crates about 300 meters from where you're standing. Huh? What do you know? There they are. I'll be taking them. I advise you all to stand down, but I know you won't listen, so I think I'll just shoot you instead. Not if I beat you to it, you inseparable prick. I've been waiting for this opportunity to put you down. Are they still Stand against by. each other? Standing by. Uh, yeah, they are. They are still... They're still at it. Move. Oh boy. Okay. There yeah, they are. <laughs> Certainly. A little bit of high ground here. I think that's probably the best way to go. Commander, Modus dropship is on the way. Marking his projected LZ on your screen. Landing zone. Don't know why I need to emphasize that. That's a 25 ton mech. This is this is not threatening. What did the ready commandos? Oh, and then a banshee. That's a bit of a juxtaposition, isn't it? What's your banshee got? Not a lot. I mean, more than these commandos, but still, it's just embarrassing. Okay, not really worried about cover. Really not. I can't wait till we get more of these extended range medium lasers on there. That will be good. That would be very good. Okay, let's sort of get you up here. Alright, Sheriff, I want you. Ah. Ah. Okay, that's fine. 
Ooh. Enemy down. Wonderful. Commander. Okay. On the move. I mean, we might as well just bully this guy into submission, really. Oh, misses the gauss, that's okay. He's only a little little critter. And you still got him. Very nice. Okay, bring the Warhammer in. Moving out. Alright, Augustus, here you go. Hooah. Not bad. Okay, that's fine. Systems holding. All right, here they come. I've got bad news for a lot of you. You're standing between me and my treasure, and that's a bad place for you to be. Now, smashing your mechs won't be quite as satisfying as dunking your heads in a bucket of blood limplets. But given the circumstances, I'm willing to settle. That's a... is that a stalker? A stalker with possibly PPCs on it. A flea and a... No, that looks like a flea. Remind me to smack Ed for ever hiring this guy. Yeah. Got a sensor trace. That's fine. Ready Not really worried about it. Orders. Alright, can we get you sort of front facing? Yeah, we can. Roger. There we go. Let's take him out. Not quite. Okay, that's fine. That we'll get him the other way. Good. Alright, let's carry on the, uh, the onslaught. Left torso gone. That's bad she's not lasting long. I mean, it was heavily damaged. Blackjack, just to keep you safe, we're gonna get you in the trees. There it is. Oh, head hit. Very nice. Very, very nice, actually. Okay. I say we sprint. Yes, Commander. Get a bit closer. Get ready. Right, they've got an assault mech of their own. Yeah, must be uh something with PPCs. Uh, quite a lot of that hit on that left arm. Not a not a decent little bit of armor there. So is that like a Jenna and a locust? Is it? Well, what's up is you can come over here, and uh, we might as well start using precision strike since we've got all this, <laughs> since we can, just take the thing out, there we go, and it's gone, just put down every shot landed in the center torso there, uh, they've got an extra little vehicle, that's kind of interesting, Renick, we're just going to run headhunter over, catch up with the pack, good to go. A blackjack here. Well, you as well. Get sprinting. Yes, Commander. And then we can get you into cover. All right. There it is. An 85 ton. Yeah, that's a stalker, all right. Possibly spit these shots. That's a pretty. Goodness me. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. Like so. Yes, Commander. That's you gone. Second one. And that's the vehicle gone. <laughs> easy. Really easy. That leaves you. Alright. Reserve. Roger. Reserve. There it is. No, it still has LRMs, I think. Oh, that's lasers. Some LRMs. Packing a nice punch, actually, but it's still overheating. Ready to get it on. There we go. There it is. See what we can do. Oh, I think three of those hit, and it's gone. Bagged ourselves a stalker. That's done it, Commander. By all the gods, you have done it. Vinton and Marge are dead, we've still got our staples, and we're going to walk away with, from this with a nice fat paycheck in our pockets. I'll believe it when I see it. You won't have to wait long, and if you'd be so kind as to scoop up the treasure, I'll fence it to my associates. 
And then we can all fly off into the sunset. Alright. Jobs are done and I think this might be one of the quickest flashpoints we've ever done. We've, we did one in the uh, 20 minute mark, didn't we, before? Uh, nice, nice little payout there. That's something. I'm just really happy we got the uh, extra mechs. That's quite nice. Yes, let's get both parts of the Stalker. I know the batch is uh, heavier, therefore usually more valuable. But we kind of want mechs that we can sell, like now. Because we do maybe want to buy some stuff on the market, don't we? The black market. I'm not going to leave this system until uh, you guys get a chance to comment on which mechs I should possibly buy. And we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, that's what we'll be looking at now. Anyway, let's see what our reward is for this, because uh, I am very curious to know. The 3F. Is this different to the one we had? I, maybe it is. I don't think so, though. Uh, right. Put you down in storage. Who's true to his word? Ed Corbo. That's who. I've gotten in touch with my associates and arranged the sale of our antique office supplies. I think you'll be very happy with your cut of the profits. I'm thrilled that we're getting paid at all. To be perfectly frank, it didn't seem terribly like this was going to work out in our favour. And yet here you stand, a nice fat sack of sea bills in hand. Like I said, my associates had you covered. Who are these associates of yours, Ed? The sale's already gone through, so telling us couldn't hurt any anything. They're just these people, you know, high status types. I think they work in communications. As to why they want this old junk, who knows? I think it's symbolic, like having a fancy business card or getting a sweet paint job on your mech. Can't think of any other reason why anyone would care about a crate full of staplers. Well, good on you, Eds. You set your eyes on this goal and made it happen, despite the fact you had no idea what you were doing at any point of the process. It's pretty impressive if you ask me. So how are you going to spend your time with your share of the profits? Quality of life upgrades. I'm taking my share and moving to New Avalon. I spent enough time out in the boonies. I want me some capital world lifestyle. So capital of the Federated Sons. Ah, there you go. There you have it. And with Marjorie Binton out of the picture, you're fine. You're in a fine position to uh, do it. Damn right you did me a big favor taking, out, taking them out of the game. And I hope you don't take this the wrong way, Commander, but I have no desire to spend any more time hanging around with mech jockeys. From this point on, it's all peace and love for Red Corbo. Giant robots need not apply. I think that's for the best, Mr. Corbo. Most people aren't cut out for this sort of life we need. And if I'm being honest, that probably isn't a bad thing. No, ma'am, it most definitely is not. On that note, it's probably time for us to say goodbye. Thanks again, Commander. You really saved my bacon out there. As a rule, I don't get my clients killed, but you're welcome all the same. Cheers, pal. If you're ever on New Avalon, well, you probably shouldn't look me up. But I'll raise a, but raise a toast for your old pal Ed Corbo and know that he's living, uh, living his best life. Probably another beautiful condominium because he has standards that need to be met. We'd expect nothing less. Okay, bye. Cheerio. Goodbye. Okay, little half a mil. Something. One of the bits, bits and bobs are we getting here. A comm system. I mean, these are small, so they, you know, they can be good. They might be uh, weightless potentially as well. Or, well, they hopefully would be. Uh, really, it's just a half a mil that's something, isn't it? Uh, okay, we're steady building up the money. So, let's have another little look at the store, shall we? I don't, I don't know if I did this last week. I should point out I'm recording two videos ahead at the moment, but by the time the next one comes out, this video will have come out. Uh, it's just because I'm away. So I have to record a few ahead. We are probably picking up this atlas, right? We're going to sell everything if we need to, just to get the damn thing. Uh, but we should also point out there is an old Starly crab here. Which could be really good. And it does have the double heat sinking as well. Uh, if we do take that. Uh, the Cyclops there. I don't know. We've already got a Cyclops. There's two versions, right? I don't know. Oh, no, it's not. I'm just being, I'm being stupid. Uh, we also have some bits and bobs over here. Uh, the Gauss rifle. We already have like a couple of those, which we're going to be utilizing as well. So what I'm thinking of doing here is, yeah, we're going to go to the base. Uh, where did I go there? Base, 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 base. Okay, we're going to customize the King Crab today to be a Gauss rifle monster essentially is the plan here so let's come out of this let's we need more gauss ammo i don't think there is any if we go over here i think i bought it already i did Ugh. we'll need to pick up some more at some point uh, okay 
So, this is like the highest damage build I could find. It involves UAC 20, loads of SRMs, it's kind of nasty. If you take off the laser, it's doing over 400 damage. Uh, but it just is a bit ridiculous. You also need to get close up, and this thing's so damn slow, I just don't think it suits being a... I just don't think it suits the role. Because you have to wait ages to actually get like close. I kind of want it impactful from the start. So we're going to lose all this. We are going to go ahead and add a couple of Gauss rifles. Uh, we don't need the... Do we need the TTS? Not of Gauss, I don't think. Uh, what was this TTS? If it's only one ton. It's only one ton. I think we should keep that, actually. The exchanger we won't need. And I don't think we need as many heat sinks. We don't need the heat bank either. So we've really managed to up, up the ante on the, the weight available. There are these LBX-20s. Hmm... Yeah, I think I want to go Gauss. The good thing about that as well is it will just immediately take out turrets. I believe uh, Headhunter pointed out to me as well. So that would work as well. Uh, there we go. Can we maybe save a ton doing this? Get rid of that. 92. Okay. So the plan is give you... Uh, you've only got two. I mean, it's not enough. We want at least three, probably four. Uh, I kind of want to add LRMs, and one thing I noticed, we actually have four slots here. We, I swear we've been picking up little LRM 5s here and there. Speaking of which, does the store have any? Because if there are any, and I, like, I've been seeing them but not buying them because I think, oh, what's the point? Well, here you go. That's the point, right? We can just add all of our, all of these good little LRM 5s about. Because they weigh like nothing compared to the other LRMs. So the weights are not distributed appropriately. So this weighs 10 tons, the 20. Lose five, it goes, drops down to seven. That's quite a drop, actually. The 10 is five, not much different to the, uh, the 15, but the fives only weigh two. And it's nothing, that is really light. So I'm thinking of just slamming a load of LRM fives and we'll gradually improve these as we go. Okay, we're still too heavy, but the heat sinking. Look at the heat sinking. We do not need anywhere close to all of this. Okay, that's better. We still need... I think I'm going to lose that as well. How are we looking here? Bearing in mind these small lasers as well. They weigh what? They do heat... Sorry, six heat each. So we can take 12 off the alpha strike as well. Uh... Yeah, yeah, we can take 12 of the Alpha Strike. So we're way over. I'm just sorry, I'm just really taking that in. It's not needed. For now, I guess I'll... Well, I think we only need two SRM. No, LRMs, not SRM. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, these have... A, is it 100 or 120 each? I remember it saying 120. Yes, so it's 240. So that's plenty. That's over 10, well over 10 rounds. That's fine. Uh, that gives us two left, which we're probably going to use for Gauss, I would say. We'll keep all that in there. I wonder if there's anything else we can add then. Is there like maybe... Maybe for now we just go ahead and throw in those small lasers again. But we'll take them out later. Uh, we're just going to give you the basic ones because those other ones are better on other mechs. Alright, very good. I think that's fine for now. We're a ton short. Why don't you go ahead and just take a, a heat sink that we can take out afterwards? You know, like, big whoop. Uh, there is armor missing, though. But we're now looking at a long range mech here, so. Yeah. Don't know. Double Gauss could be fun, especially if we, we try and go for some headshots. <laughs> if we're feeling a bit cheeky. Not to mention all these LRM5s. I believe that that's another four chances to get a headshot. So there is logic to this. This could be like a mech for, for Sheriff, actually. You know. Headhunting long range. While uh, Headhunter is in the Marauder. Yeah. Let's give this a go. I think this one might stick. And then obviously once we get some more Gauss, we'll get rid of the heat sinks. Gauss ammo. Uh, but yeah, I think that's quite nice. Right, the other move I want to make is changing the extended range medium lasers here just for regular lasers because it's just a, it is just wasted on a mech of this caliber i think or of this role i should say uh, we'll go for maybe a couple of yeah plus accuracies sound nice yeah there we go that's a one day thing 
Glad we've got lots of ammo on the legs there. I mean, not ammo, uh, lots of armor. It's relatively well armored, actually, for, you know, what it is. Right, I want to see if we can maybe cram the extended range medium lasers in here. Because that at that point, we're now looking at doing some serious damage from range. Like, from a little bit further away. So, maybe we go like this, this. I think we'll be doing more damage, potentially, as well. Extended range medium. We've got... Oh, it's a large laser. Sorry, my bad. So it does the same damage as these. 35, 35. The heat efficiency's gone down. That's obviously the big downside of that. Uh, but we are really not overheating. I'm still going to keep the exchanger. Yeah, we kind of do need that. Just going to see what happens when we do that. Oi, yeah, no, that exchanger is, uh, is, is warranted, I think. Do we have any other? So that's two tons, yes. Out of interest, is there anything like... 10% three tons? Uh, would that be better than a heat sink? Okay, let's, let's, let's assess this. This might be... We might be onto something here. 99 alpha strike. If we... Get rid of those two. Slap, slap that in. 94. That does... That's better. That is actually better than Because we're only going to change these out as well at some point probably uh, but yeah that does alleviate a little bit of that that uh, increased heat and we've also improved our average range a bit so we'll actually have the gauss and four no three uh, extended range medium lasers that now have 360 coverage as opposed to the 270 just makes a difference there's been so many times we've been caught just out of range haven't we so that's good okay very good. I'll let you know when that's done. Right. Uh, those are the little changes we're making. So be sure to let me know in the comments which mix, you know, do you think I should go for the Atlas? I think I should personally. Uh, right, let's go ahead and look at doing some more contract, shall we? So we can't really do this one because it's a bit rubbish, to be honest with you. Uh, the mech factory. Uh, yeah, I think we should get back at the Draconis or the Taurians. Let's go for the Draconis. These guys are getting on my nerves. Free Skull will go for 50-50, I think, here. Okay. So, we don't have some of the mechs available because we're working on them at the moment. That is perfectly fine. Why don't we go ahead and look at maybe throwing a Black Knight in there. Uh, maybe we can improve... Like we can go like a Catapult there. Yeah, that's quite good. Augustus there. Abattoir. And the Black Knight in the Highlands. That means we should really maybe focus on more like melee orientated stuff uh, that's too good gotta keep it relatively balanced so yeah why don't we switch you out here we throw ace in the grasshopper mm. go up this line up for this one all right. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Sure enough, Commander, there's a lot of comm chatter coming from that factory. Let's move up to a good observation point and recon the facility and its defenders. Once we know what we're up against, move in, take the factory, and uh, yeah, party time. All right, we've seen this map before. Which way do we go? I hate this. There's like stuff in the way. Got his jetpack over though. Whoever can't jetpack over though is just gonna have to, I don't know, Moving go up this way. Up high. You can go that way. A catapult doesn't really matter so much with you, does it? Ready for All right. You can. Ah, the yes, you can jump right over now, can't you? All right. For the Madam base, it's awfully lively down there, Commander. We're getting a report that additional curtain reinforcements have been spotted, so expect more contact. No problem. And secure it before proceeding to your next objective. Yeah, that's kind of the idea, isn't it? Firing jump jet. All right, very good. And this is a nice spot for the catapults. Okay. Here they go. They want a medium on the field, or a light? I think that was a light, medium, heavy. Didn't even hit someone else by mistake. You suck. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, not even worth commenting on. Continue to reserve. So that's the mech down there then. Okay, very nice. Right, yeah, let's get up nice and close. And just bully you, shall we? I just want it dead. <laughs> this Griffin has honestly been one of the best pickups I've ever made. It's such a great mech. I'm having a very good time with it. There we go. Move eight into position. What have we got? A quick draw. Right, we can tag you then. It's highly uh, guarded though. As for the Black Knight, let's just sprint with it. Reporting. And well, do you know what we can do here? We can multi-target. Bit of that, bit of this. There we go. Because that ignores a lot of the cover. Yes. And a few on the catapult. Nice. That was good shooting. Glad we kept a catapult about. I think there's a error. Oh, he must have uh, ignored it guarded as well then. Okay, that's fine. I think we can maybe get a cheeky one on the... Yeah, on the catapult there. On my way. Alright, what are we looking at? Is that a griffin as well? Yes, it is. Alright. No problem. I and mean, we can just take out any part of it here. Maybe we'll go for the right torso. Oh yes. That hit something good. That was nice. Nice shooting from Battle Axe today. Yeah. Hmm. Can you get in closer and hit hit something else? No, not quite. So I guess this will do. And yeah, just yeah. Oof. That's a lot of damage just for three lasers. Connection on that one. Like even from range, this thing absolutely batters them, doesn't it? Well, keep trying. I'm not going to get very far anyway. All right, let's try and avoid using. I don't know, actually. Hang on. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll move. Let's avoid using the jump jets just to conserve on a little bit of heat. Alright, catapult down. One last target. You have orders? I do indeed. Be there in a jet. We'll shuffle you in. And you're still... Yeah, we're going to go for the same strategy as last time. Only this time it's Griffin there. Right, structure exposed. That's good. Okay, evasive lost. Nice. Alright, no problem. We can get rid of these uh, two this turn, I reckon. Alright, what are we looking at? The griffin first. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. Hmm. All right, right torso gone. Reporting critical hit. A little bit less weaponry he's got there. Ooh. Damn yeah, he does ignore cover. He's a tough one. That's a that's a reasonable pilot for that Griffin. Commander. Okay, we're at the point now where we can just oh, yes. Let's do this. Avatar. I mean, he might just be able to take it out. Could always, could always go for the legs as well. Eh, just get it. <laughs> I don't want it to do anything. Nice. Really nice. And a grasshopper. 
I don't know actually, I don't want it coming over here. Hmm, maybe not. Location confirmed. Alright, yeah, let's tag you. Because I'm doing more damage. Alright. That's fine. Holding firm. What's the plan? The plan? The plan, my man. Is in fact to yeah. Alpha strike this. Alright, go. Oh yes. Hell yeah. Hell yes, oh yes, oh yes. Let's do this. A measly little Jenna go. down there. Not particularly concerned or threatened. But we'll go for this here. Alright, we should do extra damage as well here. Yeah, let's do this. Whoa, it's gone. Target neutralized. Thank you. Right here. Okay, Black Knight's just going to carry on, I guess. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We probably should use a grasshopper here first. Engaging jump check. So Ace, I'm going to need you to work on that accuracy. See if you can tag it. I think we did get it. They are saw one damage. So it is tagged. There's a Victor. That's a bigger mech. That's okay. I think our Black Knight is actually better. <laughs> no surprise really there though, is there? That statement. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that Jenna's not going to last much longer, is it? Might as well stay exactly where you are and just, yeah, just take it out. Make sure you get rid of it. No retreat. All right, lovely. Target neutralized. Excellent. Easy peasy. That's a miss. Orders. Okay, the Griffin. Gonna jump jet all the way across here. We're gonna go with coolant vent as well. We've got the Victor, the Griffin. I'm thinking maybe we just try and quickly eliminate the Griffin. Okay, there it goes. It's a tactician, so he's going early. Not to worry, because here we come in a lot closer. There's another catapult at the back there. Wouldn't actually half mind going for that. So we'll go for both. Ah, he's well covered. I should not have done that. I didn't notice that. How did I not notice all of that? No, no. Okay, that was some nice armor you melted there. All on the arm, but still. Gonna need a little bit more than that to get through Abattoir's armor. Yes, Commander. Okay. Hmm. Have you go here? Stay in cover. Target Okay. Good. Waiting orders. Over here. Don't quite think that's gonna cut it. Griffin can take out the Griffin, and everybody else work on the Victor. Yeah, that sounds about right. Whew. And we had to take advantage of the fact that it was on uh, rocky ground there. Totally planned that, I swear. <laughs> okay, let's take him out. Not quite. Head hit though as well. Unsteadied. He's going to go first. No, he's not. Okay, great. Let's do this. What do we have here? I was going to say, if we could jump right in front of him, that would have been awesome. On my way. Uh, two of those lasers. Yeah, you know what? I think you can get this. Yeah, surely. 
Not quite, not quite. Critical hit, Commander. Eesh. It's fine. It's completely fine. I'm Warning. sure. Heavy damage. Yeah. What can I do, you? Yes, Commander. All right. This is. Let's have a quick look over here. You're, yeah, you're basically done. So we're going to go multi-target again. Yeah, I'm going to carry on working on. Ah, the Victor's uh, done an interesting one. You're covered. Yeah, now we're going to go A and B. Yeah. Okay. You're done. Alright, let's Orders. take this thing out. Is he gone? Has he really gone there? Can we get around him? Ah, not quite. So close. So damn close. But we can have a little bit of fun here. What's he actually got on him? An AC-20. Ooh. Yeah, let's just make sure we don't get here. Alright. Pium, pium, pium. The light show. That is, that is really excessive. It's down. wonderful to watch. Okay. Ready for order. Oh, you can actually get over here and just take him out. Uh, yeah, can we do that? Move on out. Call on vent. And grab a tar. Yeah, wow, just about wonderful. Yep, yeah, he's gone. <sighs> damn. Let's do this. Too good. We can salvage that. No, I don't think we can. Uh, but that's completely fine. Alright. Everybody, up you come. Let's lose the uh, lasers. Oh, wow. Not, not really much we can do, but that's fine. Soften him up. Little breaching shot. Good to go. Grasshopper. We'll have to come up here. Ooh! Do I trust that? I mean, there's no overheat warning. I'm tagged now. As you wish. All right, fire away. Not gonna last very long. I would just eject if I were you, dude. Seriously, like, could come in with a many. I mean, what sort of damage can we do here? Not really a massive amount. Nele is 130 as well. Because of uh, the bonus. Do you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Engaging. Whoa, there we go. Chance to cool down. And a knockdown. God, that griffin is fierce. Minus one initiative is pretty big as well. I think we can finish it off here with the Black Knight. Right, there we go. Should we go for the other torso? Right, torso gone. Critical hit, Commander. Uh, we kind of just need a head hit or something, right? How might I help? Could you maybe go for the head? Now that um, <laughs> oh, there's just yeah, <laughs> no way that's happening. Right, there's the drop ship. Get in, get out, quick. Now, yeah, we need to do the objective, don't we? <laughs> yes, Commander. Dramatic shot right there. Got it. All right, away we go, guys. On it. Coordinates received. Waiting for orders. There it is. Move order Good. Received. Should be done. Factory is under control, Commander. The Davian forces are setting up defenses. Good work. Successful. All right, nice to really get back at the Curitans there. Really good. I think I think the uh, the debt has been repaid now. <laughs> We've had a few missions against them, uh, but certainly no regrets from me. All right, so there you have it. That Griffin can honestly like battle with the best of them. But we probably don't need the Shadow Hawk now as a result. I don't think so. Maybe we will pick up that crab. I'm considering... Oh, yes, medium laser, plus 10. It's an SRM4, plus 4 damage. That's not bad, actually. 
Pretty sure someone has an SRM4, isn't it? The Griffin. Let's all look at that. And then we probably should take part of a mech or go for the catapults. I should really go for... Mm, yeah, that's fine. Oh, we got part of the Jenna. Nice, we can actually sell that. It's a couple of hundred thousand, but it, 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 it's all for a good cause. I don't want to get that big atlas. Uh, yeah, no, no, we'll get rid of the Shadowhawk and just add that Lost Tech, that SLDF uh, atlas. Yeah, that's what we'll do, right? Of course. That makes the most sense. Going even bigger. <laughs> Honestly. Genides run hot and they run fast, but can quickly blah blah blah. Who cares? It's a Jenna. They are, you know, whatever. Okay. So there you have it. That's pretty much it. One other thing I wanted to show you, actually, is if we go to the black markets, you know how we've got that little tagging ability? A tagging weapon. Well, it turns out we have one for the for missiles and I'm wondering if we perhaps go back to the grasshopper I can't forget what it's called there yeah look we've got one rocket slot there how much does this thing weigh because it weighs like one ton then this is easy if it weighs more than one ton we're in a bit of trouble just the idea of being able to tag an enemy to be susceptible to all types of firepower could be quite good oh I'm sure I had a tag for some sort of narc thing right Maybe I'm imagining it. Maybe it's in the regular store. Maybe there's nothing in this, though. Come on. Right. Okay, clearly I'm imagining things, because I swear there was one. Hmm. Oh, wait. No, I'm looking at the wrong thing, aren't I? Go back to weapons. I think, we, I, think I already bought it, and I'm just sort of not looking properly. It'll be under the lasers as, as well. Lasers. No, okay. Ignore me. I am imagining a thing. I must have been dreaming. <laughs> I don't know. We still need more machine gun pluses. Speaking of which, of the grasshopper here. Yes, the damage is nice. I think we want to bolster it, though, don't we? Let's grab that medium laser. One of the medium lasers we picked up. The plus 10. Extended range one would be nice, but for heat efficiency's sake. Do kind of want to keep it efficient. All right. So good. We've got a lot going on here. Right, I'm going to pretty much leave it there. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, be sure to stick around to see what we do from the black market. Be sure to let me know. We're basically taking this atlas, right? Uh, that's no, that's no joke of a weapon set. Uh, we can add ones with pluses and all that. I mean, medium pulse. Whoa. Extended range large laser, an AC-20. I mean, what sort of build do we give this thing is the other question. It's got lots of laser slots. Missile hard points, so probably LRM-20s. I'm actually leaning towards sort of large lasers. Like, it's got these extended range large lasers, which are nice. Five tons each. But their, their range is phenomenal. What if we just really sort of double down on that? That's already 100 tons. We lose the ACs, we can actually just add more heat seeking. It's already got immense heat seeking, but we can really bolster that with some exchanges or something like that. Because currently, that's already like a lot of heat seeking. It's got 60 by default at least, right? Probably a lot more. We can improve that, really go crazy on the large lasers, and it's just wiping stuff out from long distance. Not to mention some LRMs as well for additional damage. Yeah, this firepower is going to be mad. All right, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.